Good morning, muchachos. Good morning, muchachos. I can't even see you. It's so dark. Uh, give it to me. What is today, baby? My last day of school. I can't believe it. You're going to be going into third, third grade. Uh. I know. How did that even happen? I don't know. Don't ask me. Like, ah, I'm going to be in third grade, guys. All right just pulled up to the school and there's a line at drop off which is kind of crazy because there's usually never a line at drop off but maybe everybody just wanted to drive their kid to school today um and it's 8:24. school starts in six minutes but i mean as long as she's inside like we're in the line so it'll be fine but i can't believe my baby's gonna go to third grade i hope you have an awesome day my love thank you you're welcome i love you so much i love you you're my life you're mine my second grader to buy a third. No. Yep. No. Yep. <laughs> Phew! We survived school drop off. Hi, honey. You see yourself? I cannot get over. He's in this like tank top onesie. I'm just like dead in love over it. Like he looks so stinking cute in this tank top. Um, Iram put him in it last night for bed, and I was like, oh my god, the arms, the arms. I just. I can't. And if you're wanting to know if I cried dropping her off, I did not. I was very good, but I also think it's because we were running around like crazy trying to get like everything done. Like get her ready. The pictures, of course I had to like iron her dress cause like a flap was flopping up and it was driving me nuts. Her shirt wasn't dry this morning. I was like, of course, all of this would happen on the last day of school. What? What is it? And I typically don't take her to school anymore. Um, usually a neighbor, she goes with like a neighbor and a friend just to like help out ever since Emilio was born. But since he was awake, what well, honey? You want down? Okay, I put you down. But um, since he was awake, Alondra really wanted us to take her to school for the last day, which I was more than happy to. What? You want the camera? Oh, you want me to tell them about you. Okay. What is today? So, today's a big day for Sissy, yes. But you want to talk about you. I'm sorry. So, what is the big day for you? What is the big day for you? Say, can you tell, muchachos? Can you tell? Say, I'm nine months old today. Yes. Nine months old. How? How did that happen? So, both of my babies have like two big important things today my baby baby is turning nine months old or is nine months old today which is crazy so my baby baby is nine months old today which is wild and then my big baby it's her last day of second grade i still can't believe it what is it my love what is it what is it you probably want chi chi huh i know you want chi chis but all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead Feed him, take care of my little man, yes, and get all my snuggles. And I will just check in with you guys a little bit later. Going to get Alondra from school, and of course, I had to wake up poor Emilio. Yeah, no, he's definitely awake, but I mean, I could have asked one of my friends to go pick her up, but to be honest, it's her last day of school, so I really didn't want you know someone else to pick her up i wanted to pick up my baby and they're getting out of school early today they're getting out at 1 30 instead of 3 50 and so edom is not able to go get her because obviously he's still at work so anyways no big deal huh huh honey say we don't mind going to get sissy huh say i don't mind to wake up and get my sissy huh yeah let's go get sissy huh oh my love little feet look at that oh my god the leg cross i can't well i'm home without alondra say i woke up and sissy didn't come home say what the heck and you are drooling all over that oh my goodness so i went to go walk and pick up alondra and when we like walk and pick up a lot of like her friend's parents pick up too and so she was invited to a friend's house and ended up being i think there's seven kids at this friend's house right now so it's like not a party but that's seven kids you know what i'm saying in like one person's house so almost like as you could say kind of like a party so alondra was like please can i go can i go and i mean how am i gonna say no as i hit my glasses so she is over there but we do have the chiropractor at 4 30 and then um we are going out to dinner because you know it's a big day it's her last day of second grade so i for sure want to go out to dinner um and idam is on his way home 
What? What, honey? So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna try to do, usually I need Alondra or Adam with me to take his monthly pictures, cause it's nine months today. Um, because like to like get him to like focus and look at me and stuff like that. But since Alondra's at our friend's house, I'm gonna try to do this solo, I'm gonna try. I mean, I could wait till Adam gets home, which is probably what's gonna happen. But I figured, hey, hey, stop trying to give my camera. I figured, let me see, maybe, look at him trying to stand up right now, you guys. Like he's leaning and literally pushing himself up. Oh my God. I don't know how he got so big. Um, but oh my God, now he has my phone. Okay, gotta go. Let's try to take these pictures and see if you look at me without getting distracted. Your hair is crazy. Your hair is crazy. Oh my goodness, look at these curls. You're gonna put it in your mouth again? Okay, hold on, wait. Mm. Wait, wait, wait! Let me see, Emilio! <laughs> Let me see, this way, this way. <laughs> Emilio! Emilia, let me see. Can you sit up for mommy? Uh. <laughs> let me see. Here, I see. Like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Can I take that out of your mouth? Can you just keep it on the laps? Say no, mom. I have to put everything in my mouth. I have to put everything in my <laughs> mouth. I have to put everything in my mouth. Let me see. Cheese. I have to put everything in my mouth. Cheese. Emilio. No, sit down. Emilio. Emilio. Sit back, sit back. Cheese. Emilio. Hi guys from, well, the future, but really it's the present. But I'm really excited because I just got a package in the mail and I've been like anxiously waiting for this package. You know, like you've become mom status or old status. I don't know. When you get a vacuum and you're excited about it. But this is the Pro Scenic, the P12. It is a handheld vacuum cleaner does all of these things, you can uh, pause that and read it if you want, but it does a ton of different things. This is what it looks like, and they reached out to me, non-sponsored, but they did reach out to me and they did give this to me, um, and I've been really, really, really curious about this because I've actually been looking into getting a Dyson. You guys know I had a Dyson before, and I was like, do I really want to get a new one? But I'm like low key missing it because I just feel like it'd be so much easier instead of plugging in my shark, like my big one and like having to go and record and dealing with all of that. And then also the iRobot. You guys know I have a love-hate relationship with that. I've been really wanting a handheld vacuum again. And so when they reached out to me, it was kind of like, they are in my brain. So I'm going to attempt to put this together. I have no idea if I'm actually gonna be able to because putting things together is not my thing, but I'm gonna try, and I actually really need to vacuum as well, so I'm excited to use it. Here's the insides, packaged up really nicely, and I pulled out the manual, and it looks like it's just literally a click, 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 so I think I could put this together. I found my parts that I need, and I think it literally just, is that? Yeah, so literally it just goes in like this. There's the click, and then here's the other part. Wow, that was really easy. Oh, and this is super lightweight. I'm so excited. Okay, got tape here. Oh, I think I need to add. Oh, that was satisfying. Did you guys see that? I'm sorry. Um, let's see, do I have to add a filter in here? Maybe I should look at the manual. I also had to put on the battery because um, obviously it's not going to work without it, but it was super easy just to like click it in. Are you playing with the new vacuum? Um, and yeah, you just push this button to release it. And then it does come with some extras, which is very exciting. Charging port, 
also an extra filter. And I checked the filter is already in here and there's also a filter here. And then to hang up, I also have this, but this will be a Nidam job because me and hanging just does not work. So let's get to vacuum. Like I said, my floors are gross. Um, do I even wanna show you guys how gross my floors are? You guys already know, I'm how many months behind on uploading vlogs? Super behind. Um, and so if I'm behind on uploading vlogs, I'm also behind on cleaning. But I don't want you guys to think that we're living in filth. We're not that much of like disgusting animals, but my house is not as clean as it usually always was, but it's okay. I'll get there. I'm giving myself grace, but I am excited for this vacuum and I'm hoping it'll be easy for those like quick cleanups, especially since Emilio is eating now, like in his high chair, there gets food all over the floor. So that'll be nice to be able to use like a handheld vacuum versus having to get the shark out. So anyways, let me, let me show you. I'm gonna do this one little section. So you guys can see just some dirt. I mean, like I said, it's not that bad, but I mean, it could be better, right? Okay, so the 44 that you see there, that is how much charge I have. I love that it has a digital face because I can see how much charge I have left with the other one. I never knew how much charge I had left. I would be like in the middle of vacuuming and then it would just die. Also there with the handle when I push the button, also love this feature because I literally push the button and I don't have to hold it the whole entire time that I'm vacuuming. That is why, honestly, and well, there's a couple of reasons I didn't like my Dyson handheld, but it's because I had to hold the button down the whole entire time and it would hurt my finger and it would hurt my wrist like crazy. With this one, you literally just push the button and that is it. You don't have to hold it down the whole time. And then when you're done, you just push it again. Also back to the digital face, if you guys saw kind of like circles, like almost like fans, you can push that and that is how strong your suction will be. So mine had two of like the fans showing up. So I was on like a, a level two, I guess you could say, but I love that you can change the suction. So that way, if you're on hardwood floors, you don't need it as strong. And then if you're on the carpet, obviously you can like bump it up to like the three or the four. So it's a stronger suction. And I was only going to vacuum that one little area, but that green light, I love it, but also slightly embarrassed because it showed me exactly how much dirt that I had. So I love that, but also like embarrassed. Um, but yeah, the green light is super helpful to see all of the dirt. And I had no idea how much dirt that we had like on our floors. Like I already knew our floors were dirty, but with the green light, boy, did it really let me know how much dirt we had on those floors. And then, oh, another thing, sorry, I keep saying another thing, another thing, but the, the roller is tangle free. And y'all know, Alondra and I have a ton of hair. I'm still postpartum dealing with my postpartum hair loss and it does not get tangled. And I honestly was so shooketh when I saw that and I was just like, this is the perfect vacuum for us long haired girls that shed a lot because the brush does not get tangled at all. Do you guys see my dirt? That's pretty gross. I will say I'm really excited about this. It was definitely a lot easier to like maneuver around the dining room table. I do need to charge it though because right now it's only at 30%. So I wanna charge it. That way I can fully vacuum like this whole house because the house needs it very badly. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this, but I am very excited about it. And again, not sponsored. If you wanna check them out, I will have the link in the description box. And thank you so much to Prosthetic for sending me this vacuum. Look who's finally home, off with her friends. How was your play day? Good. Did you have fun? Yep. I see you did your makeup. So pretty, pretty. And how was the last day of school? Good, I'm a third grader now. You're not a third grader till I register you. No, I'm a third grader. Okay. Yeah. But it was a good day? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you cry? No. Were you sad? Yeah. Were you really sad? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What was your favorite thing in second grade? Uh, my teacher. Your teacher? Aww. What are you most excited for for third grade? Um. Um, you don't know? No. That's okay. But you ready for summer vacation? Yeah. Yeah? Can we go to Cancun? Not this year. Ah! I know, I'm sorry. But we do have a trip already planned. Not like a trip trip, but, well, I guess we're going out of town anyways with our friends. We do have that planned for not this weekend, but in two weeks. So I guess in 
three weeks, um, but really more like two. What, honey? Someone is really cranky. As soon as I put him in the car seat to go pick up Alondra from her friend's house, we went to the chiropractor, and then he's just been screaming his head off ever since. Like, just so cranky. Try giving him some chi chi to calm him down. Is this better? I can tell he's just been crying. Poor baby. No. Where are you going? Huh? Little cranky pants. Where are you going? He's trying to grab the string. Oh my God, I think this is gonna piss him off even more because he can't have the camera. But, all right, I just wanted to check in because I haven't in a little bit. Edom is finally home and, hi. Edom is finally home, so he's actually jumping in the shower because we're gonna go out to eat tonight to celebrate our little second grade graduate. All right, we are, well, not we are. Edom is showered, hello my love. He's heating up food for Emilio so that way we can, oh, Alondra's little, First day, last day sign is on the floor over here. Oh my goodness, there is chalk. Great, there is chalk all on this. Will this even come off? Oh man, maybe if I just get like a wet like towel or something that'll come off, but this is her like last day of second grade. So this year I learned she put times and division in math and this summer she's most excited to go to the pool and visit family and she's moving on to third grade. Still can't believe it. On the front it has like a first day but it still has the teacher's name on it. So anyways, I need to put this in my office. All right, put that away and I honestly don't even know what I was talking about. I came over here because I need to feed Wiggles. Oh, we're going out to eat. I think I was just saying that like we're ready to go. We're just getting Emilio's food ready. Uh, we're gonna bring him some sweet potatoes so we can feed him while we eat. And then also bring him some like, like the teething cookies. Yes, I know. My glasses are falling off my face because my son loves to rip my glasses off my face and it has loosened them. So I know, it drives you guys nuts. It drives me nuts too. I will fix it in a second. Okay. All better. Secured the glasses. But we changed our minds. We're no longer gonna go to Cece's Pizza. Oh, my babies. I gave Alondra my old phone. It doesn't have a number on it, but she can use it. And that, she just took that picture with my two babies, my two cutie cuties. But anyways, yeah, we were gonna go to Cece's. Then we asked Alondra if she wanted to go get hibachi instead. And so she actually had our Alexa pick so what and out so, of two what was it what out of two and hibachi yeah, was one, one to two hibachi was one cc's pizza was two and, and she picked one so hibachi it is what are you doing are you chilling on sissy? Are you chilling on sissy? Oh you want sissy's phone. <laughs> oh my gosh it's so crazy how like babies just want these things like he wants the camera, he wants the keys, he wants the phone, remote. the remote. It's gla my glasses, me and Edom, he's obsessed with our glasses. And he's obsessed with Edom's hats. Yes, he's obsessed with Edom's hats, it's my so hair. funny. Yeah, your hair, he likes to pull the hair. It's just funny, like, the things are into. But anyways, we are getting ready to go to Hibachi. I'm so excited, it's really, really good. It's this local place by us, and they have sushi and Mm. It's really I'm just excited. I'm gonna get steak and salads. Gonna get a sushi roll. I think that's it. And a Coke. I'm gonna get a Coke. I'm gonna splurge and get a Coke at a restaurant. And I don't ever do that at a restaurant. I only get water because I'm too cheap to buy. <laughs> Should I be admitting this on the World Wide Web? Yes. Yeah. Whatever. Who cares? I might get a $15. Yes. <laughs> Alondra. I almost said Alondra. Eat all. We'll get a beer every time, even though it's like double the price, but he gets what he likes, which I know I should too, but I'm like, eh, I'm gonna save my three, four dollars. Like? Comment down below. When you go to restaurants, do you do that too? Are you cheap like me? Like you just don't wanna spend the money on a drink, so you just get water? Or are you just like, whatever, I'm gonna order what I want. Comment down below and let me know. But anyways, we're gonna go load up the car and ooh, we have to take your measurements today. Yep. We have to do that. I always forget to take her height measurement when we're supposed to, and I'll always do it like a week, two weeks, 
I think one time I did it like a month later. Yeah. I always get it done, but never on the day of. So today, we're doing it. Alondra got a Japanese drink. Are you gonna show them how it works? Yep, so there's this lid, and he gotta pop this open out of it. And there's a marble right here. Look. Yep, there's a little marble. Well, like, so the drink gets spilled. Then you gotta take it, this, Oh, good job. <laughs> and I got my Coke, y'all. Emilio's eating sweet potato. You mean Dr. Pepper? Oh yeah, actually a Dr. Pepper because I only had Pepsi. <laughs> We are home from dinner. We just put Edom to bed at 7.20. He has to be at work at 3 a.m. tomorrow. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> what, is that so funny? <laughs> Say no, daddy. Um, he usually goes in at five, but tomorrow he's going in at three. So he's like, do y'all care if I go to bed? And I was like, absolutely not, <laughs> go to bed. So he's going night nights, and I have a feeling <laughs> this one here is gonna need to be put to bed soon because he is just, He's tired, he's cranky. Both of his naps got interrupted today. So I know he's just like ready. But I'm gonna try to wait. I usually put him to bed around 8.30. So I'm gonna try to put him to bed like around eight is what I'm gonna shoot for. Why? What is it, my little handsome boy? What is it? You're just a little camera guy. You just wanna be in the camera. I want you to clean your face. He's got the cookies all over him. What? Oh, show the muchachos what you can do. Let's show them. Show them. He's trying to suck my finger. Show them what you can do. Show them. Why are you being cranky? Being happy, happy, happy. Ready? <laughs> show them. Show them. Come here, Emilio. Ready? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I don't think he's going to do it. Let's see. Uh, buh, 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 buh. <laughs> he wants the camera. So, all right, you guys. Check in a little bit later. Hopefully, if I don't forget. Look at us checking in. Thankfully, Alondra. Yes. She remembered and she said, we got to do my measurements. And I was like, oh my God, you're right. So, we're going to measure her and see how much she's grown since... I already measured. Uh, we. I didn't measure you on the first day of second grade. You did it. So this is what I have to track, like Alondra's height. I didn't start it until she started pre-K, and I got this at Hobby Lobby back in 2019. So I have no idea if they even have something like this anymore. But I definitely want to get something like this for Emilio. And oh, you. Oh, here's your ball. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we better go ahead and see it. And obviously, yeah, I didn't do, I did last day of first grade, uh -huh. did your birthday, but we didn't do second grade. So let's see how tall you are. All right, there she is, which I can't even believe she's even grown like, I don't know why it just seems like, I honestly didn't think she was gonna grow much from her eighth birthday to now, cause that's January to May. So it'll be interesting to see in August. I'm sure it's not gonna be much. Cause like, well no, she had a big growth spurt. Oh no, this was first day. Yeah, this was first grade. Oh no, someone's tired. All right, let me get him. But anyways, we tracked her. Well, Alondra left maybe like 10 minutes ago. It's 8.57. Yes, I said she left. I got Emilio down. Um, he's asleep. I'm, I've had him sleep for like maybe I had him asleep for a little bit already, but of course, as soon as I laid him down, he woke up, so I got him back asleep. Come on, Muggles, let's go potty. But um, one of Alondra's friends, her mom had texted me and was like, hey, I'm gonna take her for ice cream real quick. Can I take Alondra with? And I was like, sure, why not? It's the last day of school. Go get you some ice cream, girl. It's funny because I actually was thinking, come on, Muggles, let's go potty. I was thinking like, oh, let's go get ice cream after dinner, but all of us were so full 
none of us were gonna be able to get ice cream. So it works out perfect that at least Alondra can still get ice cream today because that's kind of what I had in mind anyway. Alondra is obsessed with ice cream. She's not a sweets person, but ice cream, she can gobble that up. Come here, baby, come on. So since he's asleep and since Alondra is out, um, I'm gonna try to take Wiggles potty and then I've had this one video edited for about a week now. It's been done and edited. The only thing I need to do is rewatch it to make sure it looks good. Um, it's 37 minutes long, so I'm hoping I can watch it because obviously I'm not gonna go to bed right now because I need to wait for my child. So I'm hoping I can watch it and at least have that export overnight and then get that uploaded like tomorrow because I don't think I've uploaded a video in two or three weeks so i really need to uh, i just feel like i'm never gonna catch up but i'm a broken record at this point but i am trying i swear come on wiggles <laughs> she does not want to get up off of this bed but i don't want her crying at like six o'clock in the morning to go potty because i would love to be able to sleep in since you know there's not school tomorrow so let me see if I can get her outside. Poor thing, her legs are not that good. Um, so like her, I, it's like her hips. <sighs> She's 14, so it's to be expected, but it's just kind of like, I don't know. So anyways, I think I'm gonna have to carry her outside. Someone is home from ice cream. Yeah. You just had a busy, busy day, huh? Yeah. So how was your last day of school? Good. Was it good? Yeah. But now you're tired, huh? Yeah. She's ready for bed. It's like nine o'clock. I know, and she's ready to go night nights. I don't blame you. I honestly like really want to go to bed. And of we course I kept getting Sorry. distracted. I kinda wanna stop like watching the video, but I also just wanna finish it and also 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 I kept getting distracted with my planner. So I need to like not look at anything, just my computer. You got to so I can get that done. Planner. I got distracted by my planner. I know. You Silly me. I know. I'm just, you know, I don't get free time. So it's just like, ah, whenever I have this free time, it's like, what do I do? But, anyways, I'm going to zip it, put this little one to bed. Beauty. Yes, my beauty. See, so ready in the vlog with mamas? Yeah. Okay. So I, I hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed today's vlog. vlog. Please, Please give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye, muchachos.